Hello and welcome to the Blaminka Fitness Kettlebell Strength and Shred Program. My name is Vladimir Salas and I'll be your host and your trainer today. This is session one, so let's uh, get rid of our watches, anything we have on our wrist. We are going to be working with a single kettlebell. We have an activation. The first thing we're going to be doing is an arm bar. For the arm bar, you're going to grab a light weight. Today we're going to need a light, medium, to heavy weight. So we're going to start in a get up position. So you're going to come into a fetus position right here. We're going to come around, rotate our body. We're going to press the kettlebell with two hands. Now, the same uh, side that the kettlebell is on is the same leg that we're going to be bent. From here, we're going to have our arm completely straight above our head we're gonna push our heels our left heel and push our left hip up through the heel then from here we're gonna bring the left knee across and into the ground once you're here you're going to lay your ear into the bicep walk the arm as back as possible and you're gonna push the hips into the ground by squeezing your glutes so this is what we're going to be holding for 30 seconds, which is getting things activated. This is the best thing you could do for your shoulder health right now. We're working on all the shoulder girdle, front side and back side of the shoulder. We're opening up our hips, take a deep breath, try to find peace in this position. From here, we're going to come around, come back, bring the leg first. Then you're going to bring the kettlebell into the ground and around. Once again, you're in a fetal position. Now we're going to drag this kettlebell around her head and into the other side. So from here, we go arm bar again, other side, fetal position, come around, press with two hands. Remember, your knuckles should be all the way to the roof. You should not have a broken wrist. Your knuckles should be to the roof. You should have a straight arm. Right leg bended, left arm completely above the head, and we go push through the heel, elevate the hip, and come around, and now we lay the bicep into, we lay the ear into the bicep. Squeeze those glutes, push those hips into the ground. If you already feel a lot of tension in your, in your shoulders, don't push those hips into the ground yet. It's already working. Deep breath. Try to find peace in this position. Hold, just hold, stabilize, mobilize. Take a deep breath, doing 30 seconds here. Now from here, we're gonna come back, keep pressing that bell, bring it to the chest and feet a position again good all right let's get right into it we're going to go into a prying goblet squat so for that again light belt light to medium belt we're going to goblet clean it to the chest we're going to slowly start coming down keep it as upright as possible bring the elbows inside the knees you're going to push the knees outside you're going to try to get as tall as possible. So if you look at me from the side, I'm not just here. I'm here as tall as possible. And then we're going to rock. Rock to the left. Rock to the right. Rock to the left. Right. We're doing 10 of these. That's four, five, six, seven. Stay tall. Eight, nine, ten. Drop the kettlebell. Very good. Deep breath. Now from here, we're gonna go into a single leg bridge SLR. So no weight on this one. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna come up on one leg on a bridge. So this is your two leg bridge. From here, we're just gonna extend the, the right leg. So completely extend, and you wanna point the toes at you. So we're gonna go up, 
down, open up to the side, and come back to center. Up, down, to the side, center. That's two. Up, down, side, good. Two more. Keep that left hip up. Don't let the, the left hip come down. Good. All right. We're going to switch sides. We're doing five per side. So it's up, down, left, back. That's one. Here we go. Left hip up. And we go up. Point the toes at you. Left. Up. Down. Left. Center. Up. Down. Left. Center. Up. Down. Left. Center. Two more. Up. Down. Left. Center. Last one. Keep that right hip up. Very good. Take it easy. Now from here, we're going to have our, our last activation drill, which is going to be a high plank. High plank is pretty much a push-up position. I want you to create as much tension. So we're going to be over here. And I want you to push your neck into the ceiling. So you're not doing this, but you're also not doing this. You're just pushing your neck, straight spine into the ceiling. You're, uh, you're gonna pretend that your mat or your floor is made out of paper and you wanna split the paper apart. Try to split that mat apart. Create tension, squeeze the glutes. Your hips have to be locked. If you're having trouble locking your hips, go a little wider and squeeze those glutes. You don't wanna be here with your hips up. Lock those hips. 10 more seconds. Create tension, create tension. Make this hard for yourself. It's only 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Very good. All right, that was our activation. We're gonna go into the dynamic warm up. So we have a pogo matrix. When we're doing pogos, we're bouncing on the balls of our feet. We are not letting the heel touch the ground. And we are doing minimal bending of the knee. So it's not, this is not what we're looking for. What we're looking for, hands on the hips. Minimal bending of the knee. You're not letting the heel touch the ground. You're exploding as high as you can. So the pogo matrix is gonna be 10 jumps going straight up and down, 10 jumps going forward and back, and then 10 jumps going left to right. All right, here we go. Three, two, and here we go. Get tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right. From here, we're going to go into a squat, a triple extension, and seal jacks. For the squat, I want you to have the elbows back, squeeze the two palms. You want to create as much tension as you can behind you on your backside. Elbows back. I'm going to tell you, down, you're going to come down, you're going to hold, then I'm going to say up, and then you're going to come up fast. It's reactive. So don't go down until I say down, don't go up until I say up. It's on command. Once you hear it, boom, try to explode as fast as, as, fast as you can. Elbows back, squeeze the two palms, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, good. From here, we go into a triple extension. That's extension of the hips, ankles, arms. So we reach, 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 reach to the very tips. You're on the tip of your toes. You're reaching for the sky and then you come down fast into a hinge by throwing the arms back, bending the hips, you're ending in this position. So we're gonna do five of those. Here we go. Reach, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down. One more, reach, down. Very good. Last thing we will do uh, for the dynamic warm up round one, seal jacks feet together, hands together, and you're gonna do five. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four, five. Very good. Take a deep breath. Now, we're gonna go right into the pogos. We gotta keep it moving, keep the heart rate a little bit up. That's the whole point of the dynamic warm up. So, we're doing the same thing we just did one more time. Pogo matrix, just up and down for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I miscounted on that one. All right, here we go. We're gonna go forward and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now we're gonna go into the squats. Elbows back, squeeze, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Triple extension, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down. Seal jacks for five, three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Deep breath. That should have gotten your heartbeat a little bit up. You should be breaking in a sweat. I know I am, but I am here in Miami where it's very humid. I'm outdoors. All right. So today, <clears throat> we're going to be working on hinging, squatting, pushing. And pressing so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a single arm bridge press so press we're going to be working on the chest shoulders so i would say depending on your strength hopefully you have enough bells at the very minimum you should have three bells one light one medium one heavy we're going to work with the medium right now me i'm going to be working with a 24 kg 53 pounds uh, if you want to reference, I'm 160, 170 pounds, 5'7". This is the way I've been working. Here we go. So we're going to be doing <clears throat> a single arm bridge press, which is basically what we did at the beginning. Feet in position, come around, boom. And now from here, you're going to be pressing up and down. Right after the bridge press, we're gonna be doing a half get up. So it's gonna be six presses. After the, the six press, we're gonna get into our, our get up position. So you, the left leg is gonna extend, the right leg is gonna stay here. This hand right here, it has to be aligned with your hip. My hip is right here. Find the line and align it with the hip. I'll show you this side so you can see. So when you're setting up for the get up, you don't want to be here. This is aligned with my shoulders. Actually, this is aligned with my shoulders. This is aligned with my chest. You want your hand to be aligned with the hip. My hips are right here. This is where your hand should be. From here, we're going to press it. We're going to roll over to a... Uh, to our elbow don't think about doing a crunch think about rolling over to our elbow so we're gonna go elbow palm elbow back so first we're doing six presses then we're doing four elbows to palms down when you're, uh, when you're going into the palm from the elbow, you don't wanna move your hand. Just keep your hand here, look at where my fingers are pointing. You should kinda rotate your hand. Rotate your hand. Don't be moving the hand out of place. All right, here we go. Let's do our first working set. Woo. Feet of position. <coughs> Press it with two hands. Good. Hips up. Here we go. You want this other hand right here creating tension, making a fist. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
two, three, four, five, six. Leave the kettlebell up, put the butt down, left leg straight, hand, align it with the heel, with the hips, and then we're gonna come up. Here we go. Elbow, palm, elbow, back. <clears throat> Here we go, one more time. Elbow, <clears throat> palm, elbow, back. <sighs> We're doing one more. Elbow, palm, elbow, back. <clears throat> Good, put it down nicely. We're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna do six Six presses, three get-ups to the palm. Here we go. Switch sides. Let's get ready for our left side. Feet up position. And bring it around. Press it. Hips up. Here we go. Six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Very good. But down, right leg straight, hand, align it with the hip. Here we go. <clears throat> Palm, elbow, back. <clears throat> elbow. Palm, elbow, back. One more time. Elbow, palm, elbow, back. Whew. That was your first set. We're working on strength right now. Should be heavy. That was heavy. That 24 kg was heavy. It was not light. Take a deep breath, and we're going again on the other side. All right, here we go. Right side, your right side should be recovered. Get in position, feet up position, fetus. Come around, press, hips up, both of them. Here we go, create tension, create tension with the left hand. Four. Left leg, uh, left leg straight, left hand aligned with the hip out to the side of you, elbow, palm, elbow, back, elbow, palm, elbow, back, one more, elbow, Palm, elbow, back. Very good. Deep breath. All right. We got the other side. So, feet of position. Wrap your left arm left hand into the kettlebell come to a center press both hips up here we go six presses one squeeze that hand two three four five six good 
extend the left leg right hand align it with the hip elbow uh, palm two, elbow back uh, elbow uh, palm two, elbow two, down one more come on push through elbow palm uh, elbow relax All right, guys, that was our first set. Two rounds each side. Whew. That will get you strong. Those, those half get-ups and slowly into the program, we're gonna be moving into the full Turkish get-up. This was kind of like our first lesson of the Turkish get-up. The most important thing is that hand. That hand, I see a lot of people the moment you start here, you already, you already mess up because you're going to be here and then from here to here, it's going to be uncomfortable. You want to be stacking the joints so then you're going to be forced to move your hand this way and you're not going to be able to do that with a lot of load. I'm working with 53 pounds, but if I have 100 plus pounds over my head, most likely you're not going to be able to do this or if I do, it's gonna be a risk. So that's why I align it with the hip. The line of the hip. Some people like to do here, hand on hip. That should be it. Good little tip. All right, we keep it going. We're gonna be on our feet now. I'm sticking to my 24 kg. So we're gonna use, we're gonna do stagger rows to stagger deadlifts. Now, stagger stance. Stagger stance, it's your regular stance, but you're sliding the toes, aligning them with the opposite heel. Check this line right here. This is where you wanna be. The heel as high as possible. Don't lazy heel it as high as possible. Really press into the ground. So, we're gonna be doing with the same side that, uh, that is staggered, that's the same side we're gonna grab the kettlebell. So first, we're gonna be doing rows. We're gonna be in a deadlift position. Hips back, this is where you wanna be. Wherever your chest is facing, that's where you wanna be facing. If you're up, this goes for anything we're gonna do in this program, and anything you're gonna do in the gym, barbell, dumbbell. If you're, let's say, doing swings, if you're here, you should be looking down. You should not be over here with an extended neck. Right here. But if you're here, you should be going and looking forward as well. All right, so we got six stagger rows. Don't, get the, don't rest your hand on your thigh. Right here, six. And then right after, we're doing six stagger deadlifts. So from the rows, we go right into the deadlifts. <clears throat> you could probably use a little heavier weight than what you, you used last time. I'm gonna just uh, stick, stick with this 24, at least for the first round. So it gives me a chance to kind of talk to you and cue you up. All right, stagger position, slide those toes, align them with the left heel, really press into the ground really elevate the heels. Now from here, let's grab that bell, squeeze out the palm, and let's row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it down, get ready to deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, most of the weight should be on that left leg, on that foot that's completely flat. So focus on that. Focus on shifting your weight to the leg that the foot is flat. Let's switch sides. Now, your left foot, your left heel is up. Your right foot is flat. And we're gonna row on the left side. Here we go. Squeeze the right palm, create tension. Here we go. One, two, three, four five, six, 
put it down. Let's deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it down. Deep breath. Great job. Notice we're only doing we're only doing six and six. Six reps of rows. Six reps of deadlifts. That means it should be heavy. Those six reps should challenge you. That's what the program is. That's, that's our strength portion of the program. So if you're finding six reps too easy, yes, you could do 10 or bump it up to 12. But ideally, you want to have kettlebells heavy enough that they're going to challenge you through five reps, six reps. That's strength. Once we do more reps, like 15 and above, that's more uh, hypertrophy. And then 20 and above is endurance. So five to 10, strength. 10 to 15, hypertrophy, muscle building. Uh, 15 to 20, 25, even 30, endurance. All right, let's keep it going. Right foot is staggered, right hand on the bell, hinge down, shoulders back, and row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it down, deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, let's switch sides, switch sides. Now is left heel elevated, really press those, that left toe down, left hand on the bell, shoulders back, good posture, and row. One, two, three, four, five, six, deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, Take it easy, take a break. Deep breath. Whew. In through the nose, out the mouth. We have one more round here. We have three rounds of these. Then we move on. Whew. We have three more blocks. Usually we're gonna do four to five blocks, one block, could be a superset like this one, um, or it could be a busy block where it's just one a combination of two exercises, like what we're gonna do next. But before that, let's get in here. Last round, staggered yourself, right heel elevated, right hand on the belt, row. One, two, keep, glide that elbow to the rib. Four, five, Six, kettlebell down, deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nicely done, deep breath. Whew. All right, left side. Left heel elevated, left hand on the bell. Glide that elbow to the rib, squeeze out the palm, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nicely done. Deep breath, get some water. I forgot my water, so. We're gonna have to muscle it through. So, okay. What we got next is a, it's a clean to a squat. Now you should already know how to single arm clean. You should already know how to single rack squat. That was covered in the program before, but quick refresher. When you're cleaning, we're just gonna dead clean it. The first, actually, we're gonna high clean it. So, kettlebell's gonna be in front of you. 
you're gonna be in a swing position, hike it back, you're gonna let the bell internally rotate, thumb to you, and then from here, bring it up into the clean. Then, it's gonna be one squat. And then, clean, squat, clean, squat. We're gonna do eight. Now we're moving up a little bit on reps. Now we're trying to build a little bit of muscle over here. So here we go. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this 24. It feels heavy to me. I haven't worked out in five days. I'm kind of doing this program with you guys while I film it. So here we go. Here goes nothing, 24 kg. Let's get into that setup. Right hand, clean, squat, clean, squat, clean, squat. It's three, four, five, six. Seven, one more. Eight. Ooh. Rest it. Deep breath. Deep breath. Ooh. So, you want to be snappy on that clean. When you bring it down here, bring those hips. You gotta bring those hips. Lock at the hips, lock at the knees. Be powerful. That kettlebell should be coming right up with the power of your glutes and hamstrings, float up, lock it in, elbow in, create tension of the other hand, and then you squat. Deep breath. We're gonna go with the left side. One clean, one squat. One clean, one squat. So you breathe there. You wanna breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's get set up. Left hand on the bell. Tilt it, hips down, clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. Two. Clean. Clean, squat, four, clean, squat, five, clean, squat, six, clean, squat, seven, clean, squat, eight, good. Take it easy, take a break. Deep breath. Deep breath. Remember, you want your heels planted in the squat. Ooh. Your hips down, chest as upright as possible. Come up, snap the hips. We got two more rounds like that, guys. Two more rounds. Clean and squat for eight. Take a deep breath. We got the right side. All right, here we go. Right hand on the bell. Tilt the kettlebell. You're behind. Give me a good clean. That first clean is important. Don't just be lazy on it. Three, two, clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. Clean, squat, three, clean, squat, four, clean, squat, five, clean, squat, six, clean, squat, seven, clean, that's one, squat, oh, good. 
Take a breather. Deep breath. Deep breath. Let's get ready to do that left side. Into the nose, out the mouth. Into the nose, out the mouth. <clears throat> Alright, we're going right to the left side. Left side. Let's not delay it. Here we go. You're behind the kettlebell. Left hand on the belt. Tilt it. Let's hit it. Clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. Hinge back on that clean. Use your legs. Three, four, five, six, two more, seven, last one, let's go, eight, Ooh. deep breath, we got one more round. One more round, guys. Breathe into the nose, out the mouth. Into the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> control your breathing. This is the time that you're trying to control your breathing. You should be breathing hard. If you're not, you need a little heavier kettlebell. <sighs> Last round. <sighs> right hand. <sighs> All right. Right hand on the belt. Tilt the kettlebell. Hips back. Good posture. Good clean. Here we go. Clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. That's three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Deep breath. Just got the left side. We just got the left side. We're almost done. Deep breath, control your breathing. Get some water if you need to. <sighs> All right, I know we're tired. I know we're out of air. I know we're fatigued. If it's too heavy, go down. But at this point, you wanna be evened out, so keep the same weight. <laughs> Let's finish strong. Left hand on the belt, left side. Here we go, last round. Tilt it, hips down, good posture, clean. Squat, clean. Squat, clean. Squat, three, clean. Squat, four, clean. Squat, five, clean. Squat, six, Clean, squat, seven, clean, squat, eight, deep breath, take a breather, enjoy the air, you get to work out today.
Ugh. 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 All right, moving on to block. Uh, block number four. We got a ladder. Swing, squat, ladder. So, two hand swing. For the swing, remember, we want to be one foot away from the kettlebell. Align the other foot with that. Two feet behind it. Should be a triangle. Foot, kettlebell, foot, connect the dots. It's a triangle. You want to hinge back, hips back. You're in a good deadlift position. Tilt the kettlebell. You're going to hike it. The forearm and your wrist has to touch your groin area. You got to be right here. Nice and deep in there. As soon as that hits, as soon as the forearm and wrist touches your groin area, you're bringing the house. Don't go above the shoulders. And this is where everybody messes up. Be patient. Be patient. Elbows are locked. Be patient. Be patient. No, none of that T-Rex arm stuff. You're here. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. At the very last moment, going down, and then you're coming up again. That's the swing. You should have learned that. Kettlebell basics. The previous program. When we're swinging, if you have glasses, take them off. When you have glasses, unconsciously, <laughs> unconsciously, you keep your chest and head kind of upright so you don't, so your glasses don't fall. So if you're doing a powerful swing, you're over here and you're moving fast. So take your glasses off because they will fall. If I'm doing powerful swings correctly, my glasses fall. So better off to get your glasses off that way they don't fall or break so the ladder is going to be a one two three four five ladder so we're going to go one swing come down come up one squat now we're going to go for two two swings come down come up two squats and then to three to four to five so it's gonna go one swing, one squat, two swings, two squats, three swings, three squats, four swings, four squats, five swings, five squats. That's going an up, uphill ladder that we're doing. Okay, so are we ready? Same way that you're using before. Now we're gonna use two hands, two hands on the swings, two hands on the squat. Should be easier. But not really, because we're doing a lot of volume. It's a compound effect on these ladders. So here we go. <clears throat> we're starting off with the swing. Three, two, let's go. Swing. Up, squat. Two swings. Two, two squats. One, two, three swings. One, two. Three, three squats. One, two, three, four swings. One, two, three, four, four squats. One, two, three, four, five swings. One, two, three, four, five. Five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Deep breath. Take it easy. Huh. Those add up quickly. That compound effect. Huh. Huh. You do the math. 
we're doing four. I mean, we're doing five plus four, that's nine, plus three, that's 12, plus two, that's 14, plus one, 15. 15 swings and 15 squats. Whew. Deep breath. We're almost done, guys. Okay, you're breathing back to normal. <sighs> Deep breath into the nose, out the mouth. Into the nose, out the mouth. You gotta be snappy with those swings. Lock those hips. Lock those knees, project the kettlebell away from you, but don't round the back. You still have your shoulders back and here. <sighs> All right. <sighs> We're getting ready for round two. Round two. We're almost done, guys. Here we go. Let's get this started. Be behind the kettlebell. Going up the ladder. Here we go. Starting with the swing. Three, two, let's go. One swing. One squat. Two swings. Two squats. Three swings. Three. Three squats. Four swings. One, two, three, four. Four squats. One, two, three, four, five swings. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Easy down. Whew. Whew. <sighs> Catch your breath. Into the nose, out the mouth. Deep breath. <sighs> Into the nose, out the mouth. Into the nose, out the mouth. It's taxing, I know. It adds up, I know. You want to quit on the fourth reps. I know. I want to quit too. Just push through it. Get a lighter bell if you need to. It's the first session. Don't be a hero. Know when you push. Know when you can push. Know when you could ease off. We got two more sessions this week. Boom. Whew. guys it's that time that time where we dig we dig 
Let's get this work, man. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Whew. <clears throat> Dig deep. Dig deep. There's a reason you hire a coach. There's a reason you got this program. So you could get pushed a little bit. Here we go. Into our setup. Starting with the clean. I mean, starting with the swing. Three, two, swing. Squat. Two swings. One, two, two squats. One, two, three swings. One, two, three, three squats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four squats. One, two, three, four. Come on, five swings. One, two. Three, four, five, five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Easy down. Ooh. Deep breath. Control your breathing. You can lay down on your back, it's okay. Get your hands behind your head. Get your hands overhead if you're laying down. <sighs> Breathe into the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> into the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> the hardest part is done. We have a little bit of ab work, core work, and we're done. And it's going to be laying down, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Let's not delay this. Let's grab a light bell. Same bell we use for a warm-up, the arm bar. I'm grabbing a 16. So... We're gonna be on the floor. Ooh, ah. Ooh, this feels good. Ooh. So, we're gonna hold the kettlebell here. You're gonna lock the elbows. We're gonna do 10 leg raises together. Right after the 10 leg raises, we're going to do 20 flutter kicks. Just quick scissors, small scissors. Every time your left foot goes up, that's one. So we're doing 10 leg raises with the kettlebell up, 20 flutter kicks with the kettlebell up. Make sure when you're holding the kettlebell up that it's not directly in front of your face. That slips and falls. There goes your money maker. That beautiful face, just put it towards your chest. Towards your chest. Should be okay. All right. Let's get this done. Let's finish up. Put the palms under that kettlebell. Ten leg raises. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Put the bell down. Deep breath. It'll be a short break. Short break. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. All right. 
deep breath. Let's get ready to roll. If you're very fatigued, leave the kettlebell down. Don't do it with the kettlebell. Just go with the legs. If you need to put your hands underneath your lower back or hips, do so. But let's get it done. Let's get it done. If you need to bend your knees on the leg raises, bend your knees. But let's get it done. If you need to hit the floor on the flutter kicks, hit the floor. But let's get it done. Doesn't matter the modification. We just got to keep on going and push yourself. You know in what shape you are. You know in what form you are. You know whether you're pushing yourself or whether you're just kind of going through the motions, just going by. Don't go by. Push yourself. Let's go. Round two. Palms other underneath this kettlebell. Ten leg raises. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flutter kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, yep. Those hip flexors should be firing up. We're almost done. We have one more round and we are absolutely done. Mm. Deep breath. Deep breath. Ooh. That's, uh, that's the con of living in a busy city of Miami Beach. Lots of noises here in this balcony, but hopefully you guys could hear me good enough to get this work done. <clears throat> All right, last round, this is it. Let's get to work. What, kettlebell up. Palms under the kettlebell, lock it, lock those elbows, 10 leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flutter kicks, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, done. Whew. Whew. All right, guys. That was our hinge, squat, push, pull session. Session number one of the Blaminka Fitness Strength and Shred Program. Once again, my name is Vladimir Salas. We are a kettlebell supplier and kettlebell training company. You can shop kettlebells at blaminkafitness.com. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.